Hello my friends and welcome back to Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and this week we're doing the Cafe Analog December Challenge and the theme is Let It Snow. Now I really really struggled with this one I have to say it's we've been having a heat wave here so what I decided to do was to get out all my snow themed stuff not much and to look at some video from the last time I was in snow. So come with me to Akaslompolo, Finland and join me with all the wonderful activities we did in deep beautiful snow. As you can tell we had an amazing time there it was the first time that my children had seen snow and it took me back to all my childhood memories of building snowmen and having snowball fights and riding in my toboggan down the slopes and yeah it was it was really really fun uh, we were lucky enough to have a reindeer ride and we went dog sledding and those dogs, they, they loved it. I couldn't believe it. I was a little bit concerned before we went, but they just were itching to get out and they kept turning around and looking at us like, are, are you liking it? Are you, is it fun? Are you having fun? Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were very cute. Um, my daughter had always wanted to do a snow angel and we were so, so lucky that we saw the northern lights and that really, really felt like a massive um, privilege, I have to say. We were out to dinner. I didn't have my camera on me. I just had my, my phone and uh, in between the main course and dessert uh, the waitress said hey the the northern lights are, the northern lights are on <laughs> you should go and check it out and uh, yeah so I popped outside and 
oh, I couldn't believe it. I'd bought so much. Like I bought a bag full of camera equipment. I had a tripod. I had, you, you know, you name it. And all I had on me was my phone. But the photos that I got on my phone were really quite exceptional, as you have you seen. Um, but yeah, just amazing. Um, now I have to confess, I don't like this spread. Um, it's, it's, it, to me, even at the end, it doesn't look finished. It looks unbalanced and I couldn't really capture what it was that I loved about being in the snow. Um, yeah. So uh, anyway, look, I wanted to, I wanted to, to be real with you guys and still, still post my spread and still share with you, but I just couldn't seem to make anything work. But having a think about it, I can actually see why it's not working. So maybe this is an opportunity to sort of be like, okay, well, I know what I feel is a balanced page or what makes for a balanced page. And I've actually shared video on that about my, my tips for creating collage. Today, this is almost a demonstration in what not to do <laughs> if you want to have something that's balanced and cohesive. Uh, I kind of got stuck around that bookmark. Now, that bookmark is a huge element. And I tried to offset it by using the tag with the sort of the blue uh, snowflake type decorations around it. But what I should have done is I should have placed that in the center of the page. Because by tucking it down in the corner, I then created a big problem for myself with having the other, other elements that I had to firstly be in scale or be proportionately relevant, I guess, uh, to that bookmark. And then also it didn't give me the opportunity to really maximize the number one technique that I think makes for cohesive collage and that is to try and overlap most of the elements so that you kind of have a cascade going down your page that it reads naturally from the top to bottom and this is just so bottom heavy in that right corner and I just I can't seem to get it back and those stickers there from Sticky Club they just lovely but they don't really go with the the bookmark the bookmarks kind of vintagey the sticker sheets kind of like um, almost like fantasy kawaii type um, and then uh, yeah it, it's just to be honest it's a bit of a dog's breakfast this page but I still want to share it with you and share it with you like why I don't think it works. Um, I tried to put some larger um, die cut snowflake elements in there but I feel having the white snowflakes on a white background didn't really do very much. So then I was trying to balance it out with some other snow themed um, stickers and once again the scales just the scale's all wrong here. Um, yeah, and that bookmark, like it's got kind of those vintagey vibes and I should have really put that in the middle of the page or not had that at all. It was just too tempting because it said let it snow, which is the the theme from, from this week. Um, then I was trying to make the page logical because I've put that house down the bottom. So I thought, okay, well, I'll put a moon up the top because if the house is on the ground, the moon is in the sky. But neither of these elements relate to the bookmark at all. <laughs> and the little snowflake stickers, eh, they kind of get a bit lost in, in everything. And... 
yeah, it's just it's just a bit of a disaster, really. <laughs> and uh, so then I decide, oh look, there are some birds. Well, birds always cheer me up, and you know, this spreads going terribly. So I'm going to put some birds in because I like birds and they make me feel happy. <laughs> Uh, then I had this sort of silver sparkly sticky trim and yeah you know it's all right just a bit wishy-washy really and because of the blue and the red in that bookmark is so strong it just yeah it just doesn't work if I had my time over again what I would do is I'd cut off that top of the bookmark uh, remove the ribbon bit I would still have the label behind it but I put it all in the middle of the page and I try to bring in a lot more of those blue and red elements and I would probably try and do a darker background to make the white snowflakes stand out so maybe like a gray or a very pale blue or something along those lines um, I'll probably leave all those other stickers out of it completely and maybe do like with a with a pale blue or pale gray background and some white die cut snowflakes maybe then bring in a white gel pen and do some some dots for, for snow in and around the place I just think that might um, you know work work a bit better and um yeah oh dear bit of a disaster hey <laughs> anyway um look i hope you're doing well and i hope that you're not feeling frazzled with the festive season with or frazzled by the festive frenzy um I'm going to do in my next video we'll do an update with my December daily pages for the last week and uh, yeah I'm really enjoying that I'm enjoying that a lot more than I enjoyed this shall we say <laughs> anyway if you have any things there that you think I could improve it from what I've got any tips any suggestions let me know in the comments below maybe we can still salvage this spread I don't know Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye.